What's up, everybody? I'm Jerry Gamer. Welcome back to the channel today. Today, we're back with some more Monster Hunter. We're back with the long sword action. You guys read the video, you read the title, you saw the thumbnail. I don't know how you're gonna read the video, but you saw the thumbnail, and you're like, this video is gonna be focused on long sword 101. Last time I did a basic and, and uh, advanced guy, but I skipped the basics, and this time I want to focus a little bit more on that. I get a lot of requests, people saying, DJ, DJ, I just switched from great sword to long sword, bow to long sword, lance to long sword. I'm trying to get started. Where do I start? So today, I'm gonna break down the very, very basics, getting started with a weapon. Last time I did this video, I didn't have my button guide on, so I'm gonna put that on this time so you guys see what buttons I'm inputting. So, my fan, without further ado, let's dive in. So, the goal with the long sword is honor, pride, and be swift. You have to be smooth. If you guys know what we do in the smooth family, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. And also, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up. The goal with our channel is to be smooth, the goal with long sword is to be smooth and fluid as well. Don't rush the weapon. Be smooth with one. One of your most useful attacks is gonna be a triangle, circle, combo. So a couple things you can do. I'll go over to this little board over here. You can do triangle, 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 triangle. It resets after that. And after that, this keeps on resetting. You can just keep on pressing this triangle, spam the triangle all you want, get your combos out. That's one way to build your meter. With long sword, the meter up top on the left, the red one, what it does is it gives you a spirit gauge. So I hit R2, boom. If I see my meter decreasing, if it's full enough, boom, I go into my combo. It goes, it highlights white. There's three levels of longsword. If you want to play longsword very basically, hit your meter, fill it up to right there. That's just enough to get to the next level. Boom. And you're good to go. As long as your last hit hits, you're going to build your level up. So now what happens is say, hey, what happens if I get to a point where I don't have enough to build a meter? There's a couple of combos I can save you. The one thing I love about this attack is, say I'm right here and I can't build, I don't have enough to build a meter. What's gonna happen is it's gonna be this, this, this. I'm stuck here, I can't do nothing. What I can do is hit R2 and triangle, R2 and X, go into this mode. Whenever you get an attack from the special sheet, combo like this it automatically starts building your meter i like doing that a lot because then i could just it gives me meter for my four side attacks it gives me meter for my my next spirit gauge i don't have to worry about it too much so i was like i was saying earlier i'll let it expire like that so say what happens I'm, I'm in this position right here and i'm trying to go to my next level and i don't have enough cool thing about the r2 combo is you can interrupt them when i say interrupt i mean you can hit r2 try and go hit it get a hit and what you're realizing is, is helping you build meter with every, each one of those hits, and boom. The bread and butter of Longsword is to be in this position. What position am I talking about? Have red gauge. The goal is always have red gauge. So now, I showed you the basic combo attack. This is the one they're giving you, basic combo. And on the bottom left, you can see the spirit gauge combo. Hit it four times, it levels up. Special sheet, hit triangle, R2, R2 and X. Triangle, special sheet attack, and you go right into your spirit gate combo. Bread and butter of longsword. Now you want to say, cool, there's multiple combos you use as well. Triangle, if your weapon's already out. So I step my weapon away. Yeah, I don't, the only way to bring my weapon now is two ways. I can hit triangle to bring it out this way, does 138 damage. Or I can bring up my weapon with R2. That's 206 damage. I personally like bringing out my weapon like this. Do more damage, get out the way. Because I like that because this, if you come up with a triangle, your accuracy hit like that right now. Your accuracy has to be on point to make sure you can hit your attack, right? I'm trying to hit this monster, bring out it. Okay, boom, I hit it. I'm trying to hit this monster, bring it out. What happens, I do one of these, I miss. So now my damage is wasted. The goal of all kind of melee games like this is make each one of your attacks count. So one thing I like to do is I like to come with R2 because boom, it gives me more range of attack. Does it, it takes one of your meters, but I like that because it gives me more attack and I like to cancel my combo. The thing about longsword is all about combo. So I can go into this move here and I can interrupt it. Now I start doing my combo, triangle, square, triangle, square. The combo I like to use a lot, which I said last time is I like the triangle, square combo because you can just pace yourself. And the one thing about longsword or any melee weapon in general is you want to get to the point where you understand 
how much time do I have to do my attack? So I hit the R2, hit triangle. Okay, that's how much time I have to react. I'm gonna do my next one. One, two, three. Just about three, three seconds for my attack to expire. One, two, three. So it's like I'm, it's like two point seven. Then I know my going circle, triangle, circle, triangle. I like doing this one a lot for positioning, for timing. If I'm trying to learn a monster's move set, I'm doing this. See, at what point can I foresight? And that's going to be we're going to talk about, to talk about foresight in a little bit. But the main basic combos I use the most, the most useful to use is cir triangle, square, tri triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle, circle. Just like that. Easy, 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 easy. So now that's one of the ways to get into it, to raise your meter. Because like I said earlier, the number one goal of Longsword is what? Repeat after me. Say it again. Raise your meter to get to level red. So I'm at level yellow right now. And as you can see, it slowly decreases over time. So like always, your goal, put yourself in the position. Here. Boom. Now we're in striking mode. So you, ask, you might be asking me, what the heck? Okay, all the hype is there for red. Why do I care about being a red so much? So you care about being a red because it allows you to initiate the most sexiest, crispiest, amazing skill that Longsword is blessed with. And it's called the Helm Splitter. So what you're going to do is do Helm Splitter. All you got to do is have your weapon now. So you have an option right now. I'm going to bring my weapon out with triangle with R2. So you hit triangle, you hit R2 and triangle. You hit the Helm Splitter. If you hit right here, you go all the way up, come down, and there you do your big damage. That's Longsword's biggest attack. The cool thing about Helm Splitter is you can change direction while you're in the air. So say the monster moves, you're trying to get the head. You can change direction or where your attack is going to hit. Look over here. Monster is behind me over here. Boom. I can hit over there. Cool thing about Longsword, like low key, is you can kind of move your Helm Splitter a little bit. So say I'm going to try and hit this rock over here. So boom. Boom. You see, I was able to come from all the way across the other side. If you're like pushing the direction you want to go while you're in the air, Gravity and Capcom will take you where you want to be. So that's the goal. So the benefits of doing Helm Splitter, you can do Helm Splitter from any level, from level one, white, I mean, no level, white, yellow, or red. You want to do red because it gives you the most damage increase while you're doing that. So that's why you want to stay in red majority of your time. You're going to be in red and yellow the majority of your fight. If you're not staying in red and yellow the majority of your fight, you got to reassess how you're playing because that's the goal when you play with longsword. So those are kind of the basic combos I use to get your combo going. Now some basic things. There's a skill called, if you hit triangle and circle, you get the fade slash. Fade slash is, I'll be honest, I didn't use fade slash until maybe like four months into playing longsword because I didn't really see the benefit of it. But once you get fade slash down, it's amazing. One is good for damage, it's good for repositioning, and it's a shortcut to building your meter. So I say shortcut because if you do an attack, face slash, and you hit R2, it already takes to the second level. It cuts out one step of having to do your combo. What I mean? Hold on, let me get my meter up. So two ways to build your meter. I like to do this one. So I can just have meter after I use my attack to prepare me for my next, next foresight. I hit him this, two, boom, boom. Boom. There you go. See how long that took? How long? Someone count below how long that took. But if you do this one of these, yeah. boom. Quick into it. Quick, 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 quick. Cut your time down like by like 80%. So that 80% is very, very important when you're trying to figure out move, monster movesets. So two ways. Triangle, circle, triangle, circle. Hit it with a face slash and the R2. Dope thing about phase slash is it could change wherever you push your direction, you go that direction. If I hit, you have to, in order to initiate phase slash, you have to do an attack first. So I hit circle. If I push to the left, it goes to the left. Push to the right, it goes to the right. Push forward, it goes backwards. Push backwards, it goes backwards. Dope thing about it is hitting monsters moving around. You're trying to find yourself in a position. You can kind of chase the monster around and reposition yourself. And the reposition is very, very important. So same thing with, I, with Spirit Sleep. If I want to change direction, say the monster's over here. I could change my direction. I'm looking by you want to use my special sheet. Monster's over here. Look at direction, special sheet in the direction you're trying to go into, and it'll change there. 
great way to reposition yourself. This weapon, this game is all about repositioning, aiming, and making sure all of your hits matter. Cool. So very, very basic stuff you can see. Your best combo, round half slash, because it does good damage. It gives you a little bit of poise so you can take a couple of hits while you're doing it. Also, too, building your combo. Building your meter. Another shortcut way I like to do is if you hit two of these, two round hash, then you have enough meter to go straight into your combo. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about interrupting your round hash slash in order to like get make sure you guarantee that next level of gauge. The long sword moves as well, jumping moves. So the long sword has a, a bunch of cool moves. So if your gauges are red, only when it's red, if you jump up at the edge, you hit R2, you have three attacks, which is really, really good for mountain, really good, good for damage. And only you can only do three attacks when you're in this mode. So say I go back and I hit my four silent helm spin on this. And of course, you can do special sheet from any attack, any attack, even helm splitter. So say I'm on this position, I have level two. Now I do two strikes. Even when, when, when you have white or yellow, you do two jump strikes in the air. When you have Y, when you have no gauge at all, it just does a regular attack. Another school, school, really, really cool attack for a longsword is if you're sliding, you want to take advantage of it. In this game, there's a lot of ledges. So with the ledges, you want to slide down, hit R2, slide, hit R triangle, R2, and you can go straight into round half slash. It's a really, really great way to build your meter. So take advantage of the, the, the ledges. Let that build. We'll do it again. You go all the way up here, press R2, start running, slide, hit R2, boom, hit that, you get your meter really, really quickly. So great way to build your meter if you didn't know about that one as well. Other things as well. So the number one bread and butter. So long is all about combo and fluidity. You want to be smooth, be fluid like water. Bruce Lee said, turn what put water into the cup, you become the cup. If you water into a teapot, become a teapot. Water can crash. Or it could flow, be water. So now the most important along sword scale beside of your spirit gauge combo and your helm splitter is the beautiful foresight. And before we get to the foresight, I'll, I'll, I'll tease it a little bit. So foresight is really, really cool because it allows you to counter. It's literally the perfect, make sure your weapon's sharpened as well if you're playing long sword. If you guys are coming from melee we range weapons, you want Long foresight is the ultimate counter, and then what, why is it ultimate counter? Because it gives you 45 iframes. So what essentially what it is is, if you're if you're doing an attack, you, the only thing about foresight you have to have meter. So I have to have some meter. So now if you if you right before attack hits you, you press R2 and circle, you can counter the move. So let's wait. Boom, and you know you got the foresight when you got the little thing animation sound that tells you you successfully got a foresight so you're saying foresight what the heck do i do with that so foresight the thing cool thing is if you hit it you can hit and you hit the monster or you hit something right after with that with that counter attack you press r2 again it goes straight into a, around the, the final slash and round half slash your spirit gauge combo to allow you to increase your level up so from one gauge to the next, so my, when I say one gauge to the next, I mean I go from yellow to red. So I can't do it here, and I'll demonstrate against a monster really quick. And first side is really cool because you can counter from any single attack. It has to be an attack. So as long as you're doing some kind of attack out there, you can counter it. And go straight into that combo attack, which allows you to build your gauge to get closer to Helm Splitters. Because the goal in the game is to get those crispy Helm Splitters because that's where you go do majority of your damage. And don't be scared. Sometimes throw some Helm Splitters out there. You don't always do them when it's only safe. But you want to make sure you start building proficiency with the monsters as well. That takes me to the next thing. Everybody's like, DJ, DJ, give me help with this monster. I'm going to be doing videos on monsters as well. Over doing some overviews of like movesets when to dodge, when to attack, and how to exploit the monster's weaknesses. Because in order to be good in the game, you have one thing. You have, two, you, have to do, you have to learn two things. Learn your weapon and learn the openings from the monsters and exploit their weaknesses. So a foresight. And that's why I love that skill so much. So I told you guys a lot that this triangle circle is my bread and butter, right? 
So the reason I love the bread and butter is because it allows me to position myself and work on my timing. So if I'm doing this, this, boom. See, it lets me know how much time do I have before my next attack. Do I need the door and attacking or for my when my attack expires so I can get my foresight? Boom, boom, boom. And foresight window is so beautiful. You miss your foresight, you can go straight to special sheet as well and hit the eye slash. Now a move that's really, really strong and really, really good. And it's kind of hard to hit, which will be more of a uh, advanced guide is getting the spirit gate slash, the eye slash. So what is that move? So when you go into the spirit special sheet, there's two moves you can do. You can hit the triangle like that. Or if you hit R2 while you're in that move, you do this move right here. So why does that move matter? If you time it perfectly and you counter through the attack, you have the opportunity to come and do a, a instant counter with a home splitter. Let's try that out. Like that. Perfect counter like that. Come back with a Helm Splitter. Right exactly where the monster is. Get that big damage. The timing is a little tight. So that one you have to practice. Foresight timing is a lot more forgivable. But this one you need to be practiced and learn exactly what timing down. It took me about two months to get the timing really good. And even me, I don't get it every single time. Nobody gets anything every single time. I know a lot of you guys watch speedrunners and you're like, oh my god, they play perfect every single time. But you have to think about the work it takes to get there. It's not just every single time that little bit match you're gonna do amazing. They literally start the runs like a thousand times until you get the perfect run. So essentially what I'm telling you is you have to practice. But every single weapon, every single thing. Everybody asks me, DG, DG, how can we not tired of Monster Hunter? Because every single time I pick up the controller to play the game, I see this opportunity for me to train and get even sharper with my long story gameplay, even sharper in my combos, even sharper in my reads, even sharper with my monster exploitation of their openings and weak spots. And that's how you get those crispy, juicy times. In the meantime, farming for decos, but I spend a lot of my time just getting getting better with the weapon and being building my proficiency. So there you have it. This is the long story, my long story guide on getting started as a beginner. Number one thing is your combos be fluid. Don't be too anxious. Don't overcommit as well. If you're about to do your attack and say you're in a position right here, boom, 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 boom. You don't gonna hit it, round has slash out of there. Get out of there. It's more important to position yourself, not take that damage, save that attack, and get out of that situation than trying to overcommit and get hit right here because you're trying to do this. That's the number one thing. Don't be greedy. If you guys are greedy, play Dark Souls. It'll teach you not to be greedy with your attacks. And the reason I like this attack as well is you see my meter is already increasing, right? So sometimes as I'm waiting for it to increase, it's already, boom, I'm already ready. That's why I like hitting the spirit gauge instead to build my combo instead of just doing regular attacks because my gauge is always built in. And wait, boom, there it is. So to review, take your time. Use Spirit Gauge, Foresight, Foresight, Foresight. IS Slash is good, but it's like not I'll say all be all. But Foresight is everything with this weapon. You want to Foresight because that's how you're gonna get your crispy damage, get your crispy combos because you're always attacking a monster. That's why I say in Foresight we trust. Cool. Everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. If you learned something, give the video a thumbs up. If you have more tips, share them in the comment section below. We're all about learning together. I don't know everything. You guys are teaching me new things every single day. And also, don't forget to subscribe. We're about to hit 100,000. And I really appreciate you guys helping me get over that milestone. Family, stay smooth. Till next time, dear gamers, signing out.